Greetings, everybody. Uh, I'm a little bit under the weather, but I don't think it's going to matter at all. I, I usually I forget about it within a minute when I'm streaming anyway, but whatever, I, I'm fine. Um, we're going to be playing Mothered, a game that was featured on the Haunted Plays in One collection last year. And it's one of my favorites, actually, and it's a full game um, that came out. Now, I usually say, oh, God, I wish some of these would actually get completed. And most do, most do uh, but some don't, unfortunately. But this is one of them that has come out, and uh, I am looking forward to playing it. It's one of those games that actually legitimately scared me. Like, I, you know, Voice of the Void is, is, a, is a classic for me because it's generally terrifying because it plays a lot of the, the like, the, the, the scares that I feel. But um, if there's one thing that I fucking really, really am scared of, but it's like being alone and there's something around... And you don't see it, you know, uh, and that's that's the the fear of the unknown, essentially, you know. But what if you didn't catch that stream? There was a moment in the stream where you're you're you have this weird like mom that is or like a robot or some like entity, and uh, you go to sleep in the game, and it says something like you cannot sleep when there's somebody in the room and there was nobody in the room you know so uh that really got me that really got me it was generally pretty fucking scary so uh we're gonna be playing the full game here uh we're gonna retread some old territory but it's fine you know but we're gonna see what it's all about and uh, hopefully we can finish it in, in a one-off here but it'll maybe drag on to other parts too i i don't know really uh, i just got a steam survey by the way Sur sur survey survey souffle Listen to Gabe Newell. You don't need to know what graphics card I use. You make the fucking things, you know? <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, it plays in window mode immediately. Fantastic. All right, here we are. Mothered, a role-playing game. Horror game. Uh, I'm a little... Hang on. I gotta turn on the volume a little bit. There we go. Uh, I'm a little curious about a few things in this. Um, this is the full game, of course, and the game kind of ended on a on a very strange note. But this is also by made by the same guy who did uh, what was the other game called? Any haunted place in one collection? It had he, he uses this like complete like VHS schmear. Um, echostasis, echostasis, yes. Uh, I'm not sure if this game is meant to be in 4x3, but uh, there was something we discussed, you know, um, on the Haunted Place and More Collection, and I, I think, I, I think so, um, but this is the screen for me right now, so, uh, you know, it isn't probably. Does anybody know? I, I know this game is quite popular with people, so, you know, it's set in the same world as Echostasis too. Okay, they're, they're connected. Okay. It looks cut off. Uh, this game is intended to be played on widescreen, mostly because of the UI, but 4x3 could work. Okay, I, I feel the VHS aesthetic is more pleasant for 4x3, but he read Red Man Alert too. Morning! <laughs> Tuesday morning. Uh, well, I don't remember if the game opened like this, but I remember being, like, in a car. And that's the house, right? Th th this, this, this map right now looks like Deer Hunter 2005, which is one of my favorite video games, actually. I don't know why I like it so much. Knock, knock. Okay, there we go. That's how you did it. Oh, hello. Oh. Good morning, Liana. I hope you're well rested. I may ask you to exert yourself a little more today. Yesterday evening, I mentioned that I'd show you around the house grounds. Well, I've given it further thought, and I think we and I think we simply must do it. If there's any possible chance of getting you your memories back, we need to take it. I think it's important for you to know what goes on here. Okay, I'd like you to meet me down by the place you watched the sunset last night. I 
feel like I can do a Bethesda joke here, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, well, I'm going to see if there's a way... Oh, full screen? I mean, uh, select resolution. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We might have a solution to this. Okay, yep, there's a way to actually change this, I think. Oh, there we go, fixed it. All right, check this out. Boom. I like how I have maximal quality. Okay. The, the opening on the full game is very different from the other. You're forbidden from attempting to open this door. All right, I remember that. All right. Hello, mother. Ah, you made it. Uh, this is our or or orchard. It means a lot to me. While well, you were in the hospital, I became very lonely. I never got to see your father. And your brother, he closed himself off entirely. Watching you in that hospital made me, hospital med, made, made me feel so powerless. I'm gonna equate my shit rating of this that I'm slightly sick, so bear with me. This orchard became the one place where I felt I had control over what was happening. To have responsibility over the creation of life. It's a divine gift. A gift inherited infused with sorrow and failure. To look at this orchard, you don't see all the heart heartbreak that was involved in creating such beautiful life. Creating an environment where they can thrive and come into their own, it takes time. But once you get it right, you'll forget about the hardship that brought you here. Spending your energy on helping them grow only to have them dispose of the failure, and that's where our hope comes in. And I have hope. Let's continue. Meet me at the path on the other side of the house. Tuesday! Mother is waiting near the graveyard. The soundtrack is insane. I, I, I fucking love it. The graveyard. Do you have the demo save? Apparently gives you extra content. I do! I do, yeah! I do. Should I bring that up? Actually, can do something with the full game you're done with the main game. Looking if you do. Yes, okay. <laughs> I feel like this is what it was like to play Second Life. You're like this default gremlin walking around with no shit on, and then you encounter other people, and they're like, you know, 7 Eleven. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, everybody in Second Life had this complex of like, no, I need to be taller than everybody else, and they look like... They look like Godzilla or Bayonetta, you know? <laughs> so, is this Resident Evil Village again? Okay, alright, let's talk. See that barn up there? Yes. I truly hope you'll never have to see what's in there. Do not enter the barn! Come on, let's go inside. It's getting late. Tuesday. Okay, you got it. VR chat is exactly the same way. You get used to it, though. I'm not gonna get used to something I'll never play. Okay, that's like saying, "Oh, you get used to the the heroin withdrawals." You know, oh, meth's great. You know. All right. Well. Uh Uh, I think I think this entire game was based on a YouTube clip. I'm sure you've seen the I feel fantastic, you know. It's this creepy like robot thing singing. It's the uncanny valley to the max, you know. Um, it might be based off that. I'm not sure, but, uh, you know. How old is this game? I think it came out a couple of months ago, actually. By the way, I've been meaning to ask you, how is your father doing? You spoke to him when we drove you here on a Sunday evening, didn't you? Ever since you got sick, he's just buried himself in his work, yeah. That's why I barely get to see him these days. He makes a quick visit every Friday night. Just to see how things are doing. Oh. He's just so determined to make things right. <laughs> Off to bed with you. It's getting dark, yeah. The night time. Did you know that the legend says who made the video based the doll off a woman he killed? 
Did you also know that Roller Coaster of Love has a woman uh, screaming because she was being murdered in the studio? <laughs> check out, check out the uh, what was those videos called? What was those videos called again? Uh, you know what I'm talking about, like paranormal activity. No, not paranormal. Fuck. There was these old videos of the internet um, and. Uh, Urban Legends. Yes, there used to be these old videos like b that predates YouTube called uh, Urban Legends. Urban Legends, that's what it was called. And it had all this like creepy shit in it. And when you were like 10 and you saw it, you're like, oh man, I got, this is the scariest thing I've ever seen. Uh, and it was basically, you know, the Led Zeppelin backwards stuff. It was like a bunch of shit in it. And uh, me and my friend thought it was the scariest thing. I know, I know some of you guys might be a little too young uh, and you guys think that, uh, you know, uh, Fortnite Dracula is real, but when I was <laughs> when I was a baby boof, uh, that that those video series used to scare the shit out of me. So you know, maybe we'll watch it on one of those spooky YouTube nights. See if they hold up. <sighs> All right, well, you know, and whenever I see a house like this, I just think of Joe's house. I. I am willing to take out a loan, and I will be funding. Jesus, fuck that! That is ho fuck that. That is disgusting. All right. Ugh. I've thought of the most marvelous idea. Let's spend a day in the orchard tomorrow. We will get up bright and early and spend a day packing, picking apples until the sun sets. Just like we used to. What do you think? Oh, you always jumped at the opportunity. You and your brother used to love competing to see who could pick the best ones. Don't tell me I said this, but I always thought yours were the best. Speaking of your brother, have you gotten a chance to speak with him at all? I'm certain that he's just as thrilled to have you home as I am. He just shows it in his own way. I hope you felt okay though, today. Anyway, get to bed. Knock, knock. This is your room. Okay. I'm not sure if this, this full game is going to recreate the scary part, but... This is something... It's been a long day, but now it's night, and you must sleep to progress. What a lovely day. Anyway, as I was saying, I'd love to have a Joe's house, too. Like you. I'm forbidden from entering mother and father's room. You don't need to go. Don't you love when video games, like, reject your input? It's like having Mario not jump. No, I don't feel like doing it. I'm not allowed to enter his room. That's my brother. Okay. Did you know there's an asteroid literally called Duende? I know it's not it was a Void Knight, but it's an important discovery. <laughs> I'll pay. Uh, I'll call uh, Ness's dad, but nobody's there. I'm not allowed to enter the bathroom. Uh, that's the downstairs bathroom. <laughs> okay. Yes, hello. Good morning. Hope you're ready for a day in the orchard. Better start bright and early. If you head down there, there's a small shed within the trees. Make your way to that shed and I'll explain what to do. Oh, it'll be just like old times. There's breakfast on the table, if you feel like you need it. Ah. Ah. What was the thing again from Hook? Bangarang, Rufio, Rufio. Imagination food. I hated that movie as a kid because I, I wanted the movie to be, you know, like I wanted him to like actually turn into Disney Peter Pan at the end and he never does. And I'm like, this is stupid, you know. Someone said mashed chips. Rufio, Rufio. Nutrients, your favorite. You ingested a nutrients. The movie is a little depressing, yeah. You don't need to watch TV. Can't tell me what to do. 
Okay. Is that an urn? <laughs> Is that grandma? <laughs> okay, well, um... This fridge contains food you don't need to eat. This cabinet is used for storing knives, spoons, forks, and the kitchen knife. Okay. This is used for storing various ceramics for dining. Cleaning products. You have no reason to interact with this. How do you know? Uh, I guess nothing. Okay. Well, off I go. Um, next to the plate, Joel. What? What are you talking about? Next to the plate? Uh... Did I miss something? Oh, one guy. Okay, epic. Alright. You flipped the kitchen light switch. Summon a boa. Summon a boa. Summon a boa. Knowing this game, it probably would. Okay, well, off we go. It's a really unsettling atmosphere to this game that I that I really like. Like it's, uh, I, I I think the sort of visual PlayStation style that it's well not PlayStation style but it's visual glitch shit will actually pertain to the story because um, Echo State is very much a simulation type of game. And I'm imagining this to be some sort of, uh, you know, hoo-ha. Oh, here's my shed. You found me. It's always so peaceful out here at this time. What better time to start a hard day's labor? If you get started now, you should be done by the afternoon. I think eight apples should be enough. Just pick up the basket in the shed. Come back and speed to me when it's noon. Apples. You are now able to pick apples. Apple mode unlocked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you watch this game now? Devolve into the eight eight apples and then just slow the drift towards you? It's a Unity like default uh, slender game. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we are talking quality here. We're not talking that kind of stuff. I don't want to be chased by Mariah Carey again. Okay. Uh, apples. Apple, apple, apple. See apples up there? Oh, I see an apple, I think. No, that's not an apple either. Apple. Uh, hmm. The bird chirping is making me so relaxed, I'm closing my eyes. Yeah, but that's just a murder victim that's sped up to chipmunk speed. Now you're sleeping to a, to a murder. Joel, those are birch, birch trees, not apples. Well, fucking what? what okay. Okay, well, pff, I guess we're heading back then. Well, you know, fucking... You know, trees are trees, man. You know. <laughs> yeah, you, you know. Botanist in chat. Okay, the old man laugh. Alright, uh, none of these. Um, where the hell would the apple trees be? Swedes not recognize the birch trees? Well, dude, I'm not a fucking botanist like you guys like it. Okay? How about this? How about this? While you're also outside touching trees, touch some fucking grass while you're at it. Why are you walking in the lake? I, I, I don't know. I'm just exploring. Send me heading back. Where did you got that? Did you? Where did, well, this was not in the original, in the demo. The apple collecting. Okay, could it be behind the house, perhaps? I guess we're gonna find out. I shouldn't be heading up to the graveyard. Okay. But why not? Don't go in the thing. Joe, turn back. You missed an item that is important for the meta game. Oh, the, the apples? <laughs> okay. Find oaks. They drop apples. Can I go in here? No. Oh, okay. Joey. Okay. Find Professor Oak. <laughs> what was Oak's deal? 
What was Oak's deal? His grandson Gary, you know, like, well, what was his deal? He fucked Ash's mom. Oh, Apple. There you go. <laughs> I just found out about this, but uh, what is what is Ash's mom called again? Uh, mom. Okay, Ash's mom. Mom was voiced by the same actor, voice actor as Ash. So they're talking to themselves essentially. Okay. Um. Well, what the hell? Okay, I'm not a big fan of collecting things like this when it's not very apparent which ones. Okay, well, hang on. I should stop being a baby. Pick up the apples. Watch this it consume the entirety of the stream, you know? Hey, what the fuck, guys? These are fucking birch trees I have on the apples. What the fuck are you talking about? Joey, Joey, you don't know? You don't know the trees? What the fuck? What are you talking about? Was I, I... Birch trees? No, they're called... The, 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 this is a Bjork. Okay. Learn language. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure how many apples I'm up at, but... Uh, I met someone who was super hardcore into... Uh, well, I, the, the Icelandic singer, uh, Björk. Uh, or, sorry, I'm gonna pronounce it like Americans do. Björk. Um, somebody was super into her music. And I had like a metal shirt on, and we were like, oh, what the he hell? I just clipped out of bounds. Or something. What the fuck? So, okay, it wasn't that impressive, but whatever. But we had a, we had a moment where like, like, I don't get your music, but I totally mosh to Björk. <laughs> I'm like, all right. That's what I'm talking about. She's like that uh, lady who uh, disassembles TVs on YouTube or whatever, right? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to uh, to Mother. Hello, Mother. You found me. All right. Well, how many... Uh, eight apples, but how many apples do I have? Like five? The Sesame Street? <laughs> Collect the apples. Oh, I found one. Okay. Hmm. Eagle Eye viewers. Eagle Eye viewers, please. Be my guide. Okay, we got that. I think I saw another one up here. Uh, not there, not there. Apple collecting. I'll definitely say this. The average gamer does not have the patience to do this. They should have had you collect one apple. Okay, this, this feels like stretching out the, the, the game a little bit more. And it's like, if you have a, a game that you... What the fuck? Alright. Um, if you have a game like this that is really scary later on... And you're telling your friend about it, like, you gotta play this game. And they're like, no, I got stuck at the Apple part. Too. I'm like, really? <laughs> you know, so, uh... Eight apples off for this reviewer. <laughs> uh-huh. Have I missed any apples? Uh, nothing here, but... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, okay. Damn it. This is playing a Slender Collectathon. Find the hidden apples. I think that might be enough. Oh, there's more apples. I'd rather walk to the store and buy some goddamn apples at this point. Oh, hang on. Do we see apples? Uh, no apples. You know, I got I got a confession to make. I fucking hate apple pie. <laughs> I don't like apple pie. I like blueberry pie. I like banana pie. But apple pie has always been nasty for me. There's something about, like, warm apples that, like... It's like having an octopus in your mouth. <laughs> I don't like it. I like apples, I just don't like them in a, in a pie crust that's, like, warmed up to lava. 
In fact, I'm not even that big of a fan of the McDonald's apple pies. So. I mean, they're nice, but, you know, I... Eh. Okay, where the fuck is this apple? This is ridiculous. Oh, there it is. All right. Uh, what are your thoughts on lava cakes? Well, uh, I have a I have a problem eating chocolate because uh, when I was a teenager, I had like I had pimples in my face, and you know, once once puberty was over, you know, no more of that. But as an adult, when I eat a lot of chocolate, I swear to God, I get like a random zit. Like, I don't know what, what is with it, but like, you know, chocolate fucks up your face. You fucked up my face. <laughs> Diabetes. Uh, but yeah, you know, lava cakes, why not? Well, look at you go. I've never seen someone get a job done with such determination. You worked like your life depended on this. <laughs> okay. Isn't it so great being out here in the real world? When I'm out here, it makes me feel alive. It connects me to this world. The smell of the fall air, the crunching of the leaves beneath my feet. If I didn't have those things, those tangible experiences, well, it would be nothing more than just another menial task. Something I would simply do, simply to get it over. I mean, that's something I would do simply to get it over and done with, so I can move on to the next thing. Sorry, I often get quite reflective when I'm out here. Anyway, place the basket back on the shelf where you picked it up. Then you should get a, take a rest. You've earned it. Put the lotion in the basket. Apples. Okay, I just got an achievo that says fate decided. You hear Mother rush back into the house. You take a rest as per Mother's request. The Dr. Seuss game now? Okay, you are now rested. Whoa, Mamma Mia. Uh... What the fuck is happening to the bitrate? Are we back? <laughs> Hello? Uh... I think we're good. Okay, uh, I don't know what just happened, but uh, you know, any, any, any bitrate problems that Twitch is ex experiencing right now? It's a feature. Okay. Successfully fill the basket with apples. Mother seems satisfied with your work. Yeah. All right. What is being censored here? Let's see your most creative responses. Uh, it's you. Tomatoes. Ya fada. Ya mara. Ya mara red. Okay, yeah. Someone said Japanese dick. <laughs> Someone drew a penis. Look at this. Look at the ray tracing here. It's not ray tracing, but you know what I mean. It's morning wood. You guys remember morning rescue? Morning rescue. It's a Japanese commercial for this, like, orange juice. It was awesome. Hey, head, heading into the house now. Did I really not collect apple? I mean, I have a vague memory that I collected something in the demo, but, you know. All right. And anyway, I was talking about this at the start of the stream. I was talking about, uh, Jesus, Joe's house too. I, I, I... <laughs> That fucking spooked me, man. What the fuck that is? Yeah. <laughs> so I had to rush home. I didn't get the chance to see what you collected. I'll do that later. You worked very hard today, despite not feeling like yourself. You should be proud of that. Get some rest. Oh, 
Hey, Anna, can I ask you something? When I talk about these things you used to do when you were younger, you don't remember any of it, do you? That's okay. You don't have to pretend like you do. It's late. I'll speak to you in the morning. Okay, I think... Uh, dude, dude, this is fucked. This is fucked. This at night... If there, was, if there was an alien game that had these kind of graphics at night alone in a house and you see it like just a shadow of a figure just looking through the window, like I, I, I would close the game down. It would actually fuck me up, you know. <sighs> this game has atmosphere. I'll say that. But I think we're, we're, we're closing in on the scariest part of this whole thing. By the way, you knock on the door. You're back from the orchard, yes. So. Did everything you were told? You did everything you were told. To, told, did you? I see. Well, I'm gonna let you on a little secret, just to save you the surprise. So. Mother's not happy with you. I gave her some space if I were you. In fact, she's probably out there right now. But it's best that you just get to bed. <laughs> la 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 la. You worked hard today. Mother suggests that you should get some rest. Okay, not not yet. It hasn't happened yet. Write that down, Voice of the Void Dev. Uh, speaking of, by the way, I'm sure you guys are expecting the next Voice of the Void tomorrow. And I'll probably get to it, but I want to give you a little heads up. The game has a new update now, and the developer has added, um, like, more shit he used to fuck with me. Because uh, somebody linked up, like, notes about the new update, and it says, like, more threats. <laughs> okay. Threat. You don't need to go. <laughs> See that, by the way? The mirror's been covered with tape. It is for your own good. You knock on the door. There's no answer. Where is Muta? Muta? Where is Du? Don't like that. Anything down here? Oh, okay. Hey, Joel, why are we playing Hello Neighbor Videotape Edition? I never played Hello Neighbor, but it's like one of those big, big games. Good. Well, why, why is it bad? Is it bad because it's popular? Is that why? <laughs> um. Anybody in the shed? Oh, hello. Mother is seemingly speaking on the phone. I just don't know how much longer I can do this. With all due respect, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one who's stuck here. It's the same thing. Week in. Week out. You know, the more you tell me to just be strong, the more it sounds like you don't think I am. Let's face it. We have renounced nature itself. <coughs> this curse is our punishment. Okay, I need to go. You should be awake any second. See you tomorrow night. I'll leave our bedroom door unlocked tomorrow evening, the same as usual. Hey. She speaks like a Animal Crossing robot. There's a, there's a, there's a, not a YouTube channel, there's a Twitch channel that, that is fucking hysterical right now. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. But there's an AI algorithmic uh, Seinfeld channel. And it is like a infinite 24 hour stream that like writes Seinfeld jokes. Uh, and it is like so stupid. But uh, the characters kind of look like her when they talk. You know how? Okay, uh, 
So I said, the AI VTuber reacted to the AI Sanfelt and it was ridiculous. I'm, I'm sorry, slow down. What, what are you talking about? AI VTuber? A AI VTuber. He doesn't know. No, I because I don't shit watch that shit. <laughs> Holy crap says in chat, no job is safe. I like the way this guy thinks in chat, because you know what? I'm all ab about embracing technology, but I think AI shit has a really dark, dark flavor to it. There's something concerning about when soul gets replaced by concrete. I don't know. We cannot, we cannot hinder progress into the future, but I think there is a lack of... <laughs> There's a lack of uh, concern from what we're demolishing in the in the pursuit of of a uh, hollow utopia. <laughs> I don't know. It's just something concerning when you go on Fiverr and you want to get someone to draw an album cover or whatever, and there's a whole tab that says AI AI art, and you can pay somebody like five dollars to generate you an album cover that looks amazing. It just. <laughs> Something about it. Something about it, man. Now, I'm gonna predict something. This AI VTuber thing. Explain to me what it is, because I have something in my head that it might might actually come true. Uh, it's a chatbot who speaks. It's a very advanced chatbot with anime girl graphics. Hear me out. Soon. Soon. I'm going to predict this right now. Hear me out. Within maybe a year or two, somebody's going to attempt to do AI streamers. Like full on. They'll play the games and they'll talk with commentary over it. And I'll be completely fucking soulless. Already here, huh? She does that. Yeah, but what, what does she play? What, what Does she play actual games or like Bitcoin miner? What does she play? Minecraft. Yeah, we're, we're talking video games. We're not talking like screensavers. Okay. Pokemon. Okay, well, I guess it's already being done. And all honestly, I mean, let's let's get down to it. I think that um, I don't want to talk about the AI shit here, but I, I think I think AI stuff is good if it can benefit and making things better, i.e., remove background on on the internet when you're doing a Photoshop assignment. But when the actual art itself gets replaced by algorithms. Um, it hurts the people that desperately try to cling on to their education and um, the the need the need for for progress is often uh, I don't know how you want to formulate this the need to to get better is we often scorn what we hold precious you know and I don't think that AI stuff and algorithms and all will ever replace things, but I think there needs to be. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I said this funny word. You know, fuck what I'm saying. Fuck what I'm saying. I said a funny word. I'm not allowed to enter this room. Oh boy, it's not time to sleep. I've been for entering mother and father's room. Not time to sleep. Your wardrobe clothes. Okay. What does he want me to do? I mean, maybe the phone itself? Pick up the phone, but nobody's there. Kitchen knife. Storing. Yeah, all right. Anything up here? Cleaning products. Oh, what's this? It's a note for you. Angel, I started to feel unwell last night. I've gone back to bed. Your breakfast is on the table. From mom. 
nutrients. Mmm, delicious. You wonder what's wrong with you wonder what is wrong with mother. Oh. All right. Boy, oh boy. They were baffles. <laughs> Call back here. Okay. Brother. Brother. Hello. Liana, about yesterday, if I came across as irritated, then I'm sorry. Hoping you forgive, forgive me. I just need to have hope. You're still not well, and it's not fair to me to push you. How selfish I am to think that this is about me. Run along, my angel. I just need to think things through. Someone said, I think it would be fucked up if she had a smooth animation seen just out of nowhere. Mother's disappeared. Ooh, time for us to explore. Wait a minute. Knock on the door. There was no answer. Is it just me or this chair look like it's got a face? There's, there's like a sun coming through here and I thought that the chair was like alive Going, mm. okay I'm gonna go, go, go to mother's room seems like a terrible idea but I can't do that huh who is it hello Liana that's you isn't it it's your father. I told you I'd call. So how's my little angel doing? I'm as busy as I've ever been here at the office. I have a good feeling about the next thing I'm working on. Oh, hey! Can't you see I'm on the phone? What do you mean, to who? To my wife, of course. What's it to you anyway? Sorry about that. Certain people are starting to get far too interested in my business. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, there's a reason I called. Other than the fact that I said I would, of course. Your mother rang me from the orchard this morning. She she told me that things aren't going too well. I'm so sorry to hear that. I just hope you know that it's nothing to do with you. It's just, she's been through hell lately. And I'll be coming to visit her tomorrow night. And as much as I'd love to be able to spend time with you, it's just not safe. For either of us. Anyway... Try not to fight it, will you? Goodbye. Put down the phone. Huh? Yeah, well, Pizza Hut. Like a large white pizza. No, 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 not again. A large pizza. Mother! That man's optimism. Oh. And while he may have lost many things, his hope is not one of them. I'm sorry. There's like a smudge out here. Come outside. There's something I need to. Sh I need you to show me. I'm gonna get the knife. Can I get the knife, please? Get the knife. Get the knife. Get the knife. The fuck is that in this shit? Looks like I used like no clip and I found the the, the map credits in Sven Co-op. I guess we're heading outside. I'm out here. Oh Okay, how tiny am I? What the hell? The nights have been cold lately. Have you noticed? 
These are the kinds of nights that inspire gratitude in having a home like ours. This one feels especially chilling though, doesn't it? I want you to walk directly towards the moon. You'll meet me out by the roadside. Can't make me do shit, man! Okay, I can't do that. Guess I have to. Uh, alright, we got it. <laughs> alright. Joel, have you ever played the Swedish translation of Diablo? I have. I have. Yo, what's up, Mom? Here we are. This is as far as you can physically go. I want you to do something for me. I want you to sleep here tonight. I need you to show me. I need to know. But I know you will. All right. All right, you got it. So that there's bodies in the water. All right. It's just this like Sven co-op credits on the map here. Okay, I, th I think this is the shit that's coming up here. I think this is one of the scariest things that was fucking concerning as all hell. Before we do that, though, I'm gonna see if I can talk to my brother. No, I can't do that. Soundtrack is really good. Here we go. Mother's an objective for you. She's waiting downstairs. I'll find you. Alright. Mother. Is this me? Is anybody else gets like slight chills from this? It's just like the fucking darkness of this house and this white noise going around. Like it's ugh, it's eerie as fuck. Like mm. um, you flip the hallway light switch. That makes things better. Okay. What the fuck are you talking about? Haven't I done everything? We're gonna go behind the house. Well, I don't know why that's a good idea. Should I really be going up here? I think I should. Nope. Okay. Didn't she ask you to sleep outside? I mean, like, literally. Like, you sleep on the floor hobo style? <laughs> okay, I, I, I took it figuratively. Like, outside, as in, like, uh, I don't know. Not in your room, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I, I gotta I gotta blow my nose here, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Mother wishes for you to sleep here tonight. You lie on the ground and wait until morning. Okay. I see the water levels rising. Okay. So, could you blow my nose too? Okay, y you know, one of the most disgusting things in my head I've ever thought about? Imagine someone else going under your nose and going.
<laughs> no, please. This is like, oh my god. That happened to me. What was it like? Fetish. <laughs> Sounds like one of your Ghostbusters songs. Okay, yeah. Uh, the mere thought of that made me physically recoil. <laughs> okay, how about this? Instead of somebody blowing air? Hear me out. Somebody... Somebody sneezes in your asshole. So that the air from their sneeze travels through your colon into your mouth and you burp out their sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Cut this mic. That's not how it works. What, are you a doctor or something? What are you, Michael Morbius? Okay. Stop streaming. Okay. Hey. What's popping? Um. I assume you're well rested. Uh, no dialogue. Your breakfast is on the table. You don't have to eat it. But right now, it seems like it's your only choice. Get the knife. Yo, we get that uh, American cheese. The afternoon. Same thing outside the window. I feel that this is what it would be like to play The Sims 1 in 3D. <laughs> I will allow you into the graveyard. Just for today. Alright, hot dog. Pretty sweet, guys. <laughs> we get to die today. What is that? Is that just leaves? Oh, I thought it was like guests. Somebody in chat just said milk and cigarettes. Mmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What are you saying? Okay. I'm ready to go to the graveyard. Can't go to the graveyard. Okay, I guess not. Well, the friends. Have you actually tried pilk? I have tried pilk, yes. When I was very young, I used like I didn't know better, so I did it. It's not like bad, but it tastes like an accident. You know, like it doesn't culinarily work. Okay, can't do that. Nothing here either. What the hell is that image? Is it, is it, I, th I thought it was a cat. I thought it was that little funny, funny cat that's on the internet, you know, like with the tongue, you know. UFO sighting. <laughs> okay, can I turn the faucet on? Did anybody else just turn faucets on as a kid and just like run away? I used to do that in school, in the locker room. I used to like turn all the faucets on and just like ran off. No? It's just fun. You used to do it. No, it's, I did a lot of stuff like that. I, I uh, One time at the grocery store, I uncorked the milk carton and he's like left. I was very young. I just thought it was like funny, you know. <laughs> uh, actual duende. Uh, the, I used to I used to love go knock knock or not it's not, not called knock knock, you know when you uh it's, you know you knock on someone's door and you run you know you know you know but I'm I'm not like a like a like, I'm not like an evil person because when I was ten uh, no I was I don't know how old I was I must have been like twelve or thirteen or whatever uh, Ben and Jerry's first got to Sweden 
And Ben and Jerry's back then was seen as like extreme premium ice cream because it was so expensive. So me and my friends, they wanted to go to the grocery store and they were going to steal Ben and Jerry's, right? And we were on MSN Messenger and they all had this 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 heist planned how they were going to do it. They're like, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get these big jackets, put a bunch of Ben and Jerry's in and sneak out. And I was reluctant to it. I was thinking like, no, I don't want to do that, man. Like, I've never been in trouble that way. You know, like, what the fuck am I doing it? And they, they and then they pulled this shit on me where they said, we are cowards. We are pussy. And all of us went to the grocery store. They got their shit. Went out. And then it was my turn. <laughs> you know what I did? I just went in and I paid for my ice creams and I said I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, oh, man, you're fucking badass. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Just, but, idiots. Okay. Nerge moment. Uh, no, I, I never, I, I have never, like, st st stolen snacks or something like that. I, I've always paid for it because it's an insignificant amount of money, you know? Like if if you if you steal your snacks, <laughs> steal snacks. If you do that and you're eating it and you feel good about it, you deserve those uh, chips titties. Okay, <laughs> okay. You deserve those fats in your body. Okay. You haven't earned it. Okay. What am I doing here? Oh, no, there was no answer. Shit. Okay. Am I going to the orchard? Oh. Does not open for me. Okay. The graveyard. I thought the graveyard was here. Like, that way, and... Wait, wait a minute. This is the graveyard. This is the graveyard. The Swedish people cork all their beverages. <laughs> cork all my beverage. Oh, okay. That's cause for concern. You must proceed. You must not proceed. You must not proceed. You must not proceed. You must not proceed. Option B. Let's proceed. I must proceed. <laughs> okay. Here lies my sense of humor, chat. Okay, what? No, all right. This object has been mental has been mental block to prevent any potential conflict. Are you sure you wish to continue? Mental block removed. Okay, this is not in the original, but. Later. Okay. The soundtrack is fucking weird. It's very, very... Uh... Ugh. All right. Probably shouldn't have done that. There's something about this game that makes my skin skin crawl. It's, it's very, very, very eerie. Back in the day, I used to subscribe to the Donald Duck magazine. Okay, I didn't get to read what you said, so I'm gonna assume that was the end of the story. That was the scary story. Yeah. Time to sleep. Okay, and I'm like, why can I just knock on it? No answer. I think you need to click on the statue, Joey. You know, I when other people when other people play games, I often like scream at them. 
I know what it's like, guys, okay? I know what it's like. I understand your frustration, you know? Like, there are people out there who play Mario, and they don't run. They, they don't hold down the run button when they jump, and it makes me want to have, like, a, a psychotic episode watching them play. Um... This is the future of their techno music. Are you ready to dance in? Are you ready? Okay, he's got a Chiba called Our Angel. Leona's grave. Tanzen meine Arschlust. Dummplatz. Okay. How does it make you feel? Sneezy. You can speak if you like. Mom, is that you? Hello, can you hear me? You don't have anything to say? I'm here. That's okay, you don't have anything. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Why can't you hear me? Am I dreaming? I must go inside. Your father's coming to visit and I need to prepare for his arrival. Daddy's here too? Please go to bed. What's going on? Probably wondering what's going on. Okay, well, we'll talk about what just happened in the morning. Okay, I think, I think this is the moment that scared the bejesus out of me. Go to bed. You feel a drop of water run down your face. Oh boy, oh boy. Right. Okay. Knock knock. You hear what appears to be arguing. It isn't any of your business. Okay. It's been a long day, but now it's night, and you must sleep to progress. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> the wind they arguing. Good morning. Good morning. You're awake, Angel. You're not well. I just wanted to tell you that you can stay in your room today. I don't need you to do anything for me. Your father will be here to pick you up tomorrow evening. So until then, you just wait in here, okay? We're doing everything we can to help you. You know that, right? That's my girl. Okay. Core objective. Be with mother. How's my brother doing? No answer. <laughs> I am level four child. What's popping? You startled me. I told you to stay in your room. Please, it's for your own good. Mother is hiding. Mother is hiding. <laughs> okay. We get that level up. Can I... Forbidden, can I open it up? Oh, fuck. I should not be in here. Um... Oh fuck, she can see me from the fucking painting. Um... Can open this up. It's a bad idea. 
Probably shut this door. They'll never suspect anything. Don't need to. Knock on the door. There's no answer. Are you outside? Uh, the graveyard's closed. Too. Hmm. Is this open yet? No. Why is my last played game on Steam Sonic Adventure 2? Well, I got the Sonic virus. You know. The only way, the only way you can get rid of that virus is to immediately, immediately smash your computer with a hammer. You know. Sonic is in your computer right now. Fucking all your files. So, quickly, quickly. What you saw in the graveyard last night. Please, try not to let it get to you. We're doing everything we can to help you. Please listen. I prefer for you to not do anything. Just quit. You're scaring me. Core objective. <laughs> this game is ridiculous. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Shut the game down. Wait a minute. Th th there's funny text up here. Oh. Am I going to go potty training? Stay back. What do you want from me? I don't have anything for you to do. Just leave me alone. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. No. There's no answer. I think I might know where I gotta go next. Bad idea. Okay, it was open before. Okay, I guess we're gonna head outside. I must find mother. Okay, can't get the knife. Okay, is there more text here? Still blocked off. There was some text off in the surface. You know, what's oh, to the right? You gotta go to the right. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. It's quite the walk. All right. This whole environment feels like I'm playing a Unity game, and I've, like, walked outside the intended area of play. And it's just, like, endless stretches of nothing. It's very... <laughs> kind of unsettling. Am I the bad guy? Hey. As you can see, there's nothing out here for you. But that's not why you're doing this, is it? I'm not your mother. I think you know that. <laughs> you're just using me to pass the time. That's the only reason you're here in this world. I know what I must do. You're adopted. She's gone. Okay. What an incredible score to this game, actually. Like, this is really good. Imagine if this game that suddenly flashed. Collect the eight pieces to progress the story. Press E to pick up the gun. Okay, there's this, some stuff in the distance. I don't know if I can walk all the way over there, though, but I'll try. <laughs> Someone in chat said, you are alive. <laughs> Collect all the funny apples to progress the story. Objective, kill mother. 
Okay, huh? I don't think this is the way, huh? My, uh, no way, hang on. Nope, okay. I am the Slender Man, huh? You know what? The game was really confusing, and I, I sometimes dread director's cuts of video games because they they very much alter the whole feel of the game. Um, so many years ago, many not many years ago, three two years ago, I was recommended a game by Frank called The Lighthouse, and he played the original. And then the director director's cut replaces the original version on Steam, and it severely changes the game. Um, hark, hark, hark. Um, but I played it, and uh, the the game was very confusing, you know. But uh, I liked it, but then I saw the original being played, and it ended just when it needed to end, you know. And I felt the director's cut just became very... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hmm. Knock on the door. It's no answer. You know why this game is effective? Because it's fucking quiet. You know, it's it's that it's that it's that deafening silence of what the fuck? Because you're afraid something's gonna happen, and it knows when to strike you. Some games don't know doesn't know how to do that. No time to sleep. Man. Maybe I can not do that, huh? Where would mother be? I guess the orchard. I said that would be the way. Can I jump? I cannot jump, no. You know, if this game had a jump feature, you know it would just like turn into me going outside the, the, the game and then ending halfway and having to look up the ending on YouTube. <laughs> I just like fall through everything. Be like, oh, it's meant to be this way. It's like, no. Angel, you're not well. Your father will be here to pick you up tomorrow night. He's been working as hard as he can to help you get better. But we took you home before you were ready. You're no different. You're no different to the apples in that basket behind me. I'm so sorry. You are to stay in the shed until your father gets here tomorrow night. I'm going to close the door behind you. You're forbidden from opening it. This is the only way. You may not understand, but please, trust me when I say this is for your own good. Don't make me go through all of this again. Quit now! Alright. Hi, I'm Apples. These apples have been had had their cores cut out and are starting to rot. Core objective B with mother. All right, where's the uh, where's the handle on this thing? Um. Go through. Took it off. Yeah. Okay. But I don't want to be an apple. Uh huh. Can you crouch jump? No, there's no jumping in this. Maybe grab the apples. No. Something on the floor, maybe. Oh, what's this? Mother would never such, say such thing. Maybe I gotta... Uh... Don't you skip the lore? I... No, I... I... Sorry, what, what happened? Maybe I click... That is what Mother said. Oh, I, I missed what it said because I clicked through it. Sorry. They have started to rot. Be with mother. There we go. 
You're no different than the apples. That's what mother said. They never see the thing. Okay. Core objective unreachable. Unable to progress. Initialize backup core. I want to be with mother. PC the synchronization. I want to get out. You're unable to get out. Why? Mother said you're forbidden from opening this door, but I want to see her. Be with mother. I need to open this door. Open this door is forbidden. I will open this door. All right. I open the door. Be with mother. All right. I don't like these woods at night, man. Mm -hmm. What if somebody made a Scooby-Doo uh, video game, but it was like really scary? <laughs> like very scary. <laughs> Scooby-Doo PT. <laughs> Like sewing Scoob! <laughs> oh! Okay, I, I thought I glitched the game. Where, where, where am I? Like Valma. Okay, it's getting real foggy in here. Who's vaping? Okay. What's happening? This is very spooky. And I don't like it. This is... Hello? Son, keep your door closed at all costs. Okay, it's the only... Th it's only staying for one more night. <laughs> it's... There's nothing to be afraid of, just don't open your door to her, no matter what. You'll be safe as long as you don't let her get it. Stay back. We don't want anything from you. Just stay away from us, wherever you are. Leave this family alone. I must call out to mother. You attempt to call out to mother. But nobody answered. But you don't make a sound. Insufficient PC synchronization. She does not hear you. You must try again. You attempt to call out to mother, but nobody came. Did it just speak? Stay in your room. Contamination is just beginning. Isn't this exactly what you want to happen? Not like this. It's not our little girl in there. It's something else entirely. What do we do? It needs an objective. For that purpose, it will hunt it hunt us until it gets done. I told you I have to wait in the shed until the father arrived, but contamination is already setting in. I'm gonna try to give it another order. Liana. Angel. Wait here until morning. You are not her. <laughs> this scary as shit. I guess I'm not Leona. What am I? You are not you. I can't stand this anymore. I have nothing more to do with any of this. Open the door. Can I get in? Oh. Open the door, shit on the floor. Is there anything else I can get? I don't need to eat. I refuse. <laughs> All right. The question is, can I? I can't do that yet. Now, I wonder if the the door is open here. Huh? You're not you when you're hungry.
I've said this before, but who the fuck eats a Snickers when they're like hungry? <laughs> like what? <laughs> what? Me. Let's check out the shed, maybe. The same person that eats chips for dinner. Huh? Did you guys did you guys see my Breaking Bad review fully edited on YouTube? I uploaded it on the clip channel, so check that out. By the way, it's 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 almost like a highlight in itself. Um, go check that out because it's 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 heavily edited. Because I was talking about chips for dinner in the show, and I added in all the context that was missing from my actual review live. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right, well. Yeah, uh, Anther linked it in chat if you want to check it out. Okay, maybe the graveyard? Well, the graveyard's close too, so... Uh. Okay, um... If I told you I don't know where the way to back, would you believe me? You would believe me. You know what I haven't been? I haven't been to the basement of the house. So. There it is. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah. Would you review more stuff in funny clip form? If people like the sure him. Okay, you know what fucked me up? As I was bre watching Breaking Bad, uh, Walter White and his son is watching Scarface. And Walter White's like, oh, I love this movie. I'm like, well, yeah, Scarface, huh? Then I started really thinking about, like, why is Scarface on this show? And it turns out the half of the fucking cast in Breaking Bad is the Scarface people. <laughs> Manny is uh, the Mexican cartel guy. Hector is the bomb guy <laughs> from Scarface. It's so ironic. Uh, fucking... God. The Abuelita, uh, you know, Tuco's gr grandma, uh, grandmother in Better Call Saul is Tony's mother. Uh, you know. Well, lore ruined. I guess we're checking that uh, basement door. For me, for my attempt to open this door. But I don't care. No? What's this? For me, from touching this record player, it is father's prized possession. But I am my own entity now. Okay, you know what's fucked up? What is Gus's uh, actor call again? I found this out today, and it is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Giancarlo Esposito. He's Danish. Okay, he's fucking Danish. Okay, like where where's this guy from? He's Danish. I'm not fucking kidding. <laughs> he's Danish. Look it up. I'm not kidding. Look it up. <laughs> well, he was born in Denmark. He was born in Denmark, but I think, I think he has Italian uh, parents. But they were in Denmark when uh, he was born, and he lived there until he was six years old. And I think that explains a lot in the show. You know. Okay, I gotta ask you guys, uh, Spanish speakers, uh, who speaks Spanish here? I think a lot of you guys just speak Spanish for some fucking reason. Okay, question. How is Hector's and Gus's Spanish in the show? Because they, they are not native speakers. Does it sound like shit? Like, oh my god, what is that fucking accent? Like, what? It's very good. Not native, but very good. It's awful, horrible. I'm gonna guess that Hector, he 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 he's like old, so it's got a bit of a going on. Whereas Gus is more has more lines. So when Hector speaks Spanish, it's more like okay, I can I can buy that. But when Gus has more speaking lines. It's more like 
something's off here. Joel, you are blind. No one said it's good, Omega Lul. For your own good. Okay. Can I do anything else here? I'll have to sleep. Though. Where, where are we going? <laughs> where are we? Brother! Okay. Maybe the phone? But nobody's there. Put down the phone now. Okay. Check the basement, but I've been here, I think. Can't, can't get through? Get the knife. Can't get the knife. Pots. You have no reason to interact with this. Hmm. I've been to every place. No? Oh, wait a minute. That's not open for you. Okay. Graveyard's closed off. I mean, that's the only way right over here. I mean, that must be it, no? And there. That's closed off, too. Uh-huh. Maybe... Wait, have we, I haven't been to the... Uh, the outskirts. Like, where we started. The driveway, yeah. Okay, let's try that, I guess. So, the outskirts. <laughs> okay. A lovely day. I wonder what this all is going to lead to. Like, I feel this game is really rich in story. And I want to see where it all develops. But I used to hope it doesn't end on 404. User disconnected. The killer was the... Technology. Okay, nothing here either. Damn it. You need to follow the noise. I don't think the noise is, is location based, like Maybe maybe it's where where I took that nap. No, it is. It is location based, I think. So when I'm t pointing towards there, it's playing the noise. So. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> the Revenge of Y2K. Guys, when is the next like de death year, where everybody's gonna get crushed by an asteroid or whatever? Because last time was 2012. Uh, you know. Uh, Right now, uh, tomorrow, awesome, awesome, fuck yes. Guys, I cannot wait to party with you guys in hell, okay? It's gonna be three, two, one, and we're like, all right, barbecue, you know? <laughs> Nothing here either. Jesus, what the fuck? the spot there. Okay, maybe she's in the woods somewhere. I'm not sure. Wait, what's that over there? Oh, that's just the gate. Too. Okay, um... Some hotel to check the nutrients. Uh. <laughs> so I said, goes to hell looks the same. Okay, I'm gonna guess he's in the woods somewhere. Huh? Okay. 
Okay, well. Uh, hello. Uh, what's popping? I think she's in the woods either. I don't. Hmm. Did you check mother's room? I did. Yeah. Not there either. Oh, that's that too. Joel, eat your damn nutrients. I think I did. It's like I didn't don't want to. I think the character said it. Did you check Lumbridge? Isn't Lumbridge a RuneScape town? <laughs> what kind of fucked up deep cut is that? <laughs> okay. Okay, um... I've been everywhere, man. Uh, okay, I gotta check the nutrients again. Maybe something is different. A plate of dirt. I will not eat it. Oh, oh. Okay. No. I will not. Hello, who is it? Hello? What? 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 Damn it, I'm trying to find the gotcha phone gif, but I was stalling for time. That actually sounds like I'm an old man. <laughs> Out of context. What? Stone cold. What? Angel, it's me. It's your father. Listen, I know things are probably very confusing for you right now, but you need to trust us. I'll be over tonight to pick you up. Just try not to lose your head until then. When we last spoke, I mentioned that your mother called me from the orchard on a Thursday morning, and she mentioned you were feeling sick. Well, we're doing everything we can to help you, but we cannot do that unless you cooperate. My research had come up such a long way this week. You're already showing signs of improvement. So I really think you'll do better next week. Anyway, I'm just getting in my car right car now. We have a long drive ahead of us, so we better get going. See you soon. And please, eat up. Put down the phone. Okay. Good morning, Angel. I made your breakfast. It's for your own good. You just have to eat it, even though I don't want to. You are not in control. You cannot make me eat. Don't do this. Disgusting. Not long now. The kitchen knife. I obtained the kitchen knife. It's time to end this. It's a note from Liana. Hi, Liana. I hope you made it home safely. Sorry I'm here to greet you. I haven't been feeling well the past few days, so I had to go to bed early. I'll make it up to you in the morning. Love, Mom X. But nobody's there. Wait, she lives there? Wait a minute. Knock on the door. No answer. Can I go in? Hmm. Check the mirror. No. Nope. Need the basement now. Huh? 
forbid an aha. Oh, yeah. I think the full version of this game, unless there's different paths, um, maybe it doesn't include my favorite bit. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, wait a minute. It's time. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. Uh, right? Okay. <laughs> hey, what's poppin'? I knew you'd eventually make your way up here. What's that you got? Uh, good. You brought it. Give me the knife. Now's our chance. Kill her. I hand mother the knife. That's a good girl. Now let's watch the sunset. Go on. Get as close as you can. This isn't what I meant. Hey, uh, we good? I think I should be going down here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna moonwalk out of here. If she starts fucking walking after me, dong, 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 you know. Maybe I gotta stay there. Like, literally watch the sunset go down. Oh shit, Michael Jackson! Han moonwalk ut i skogen! Jävlar! Oh shit! <clears throat> I got a call, hang on. Sorry, oh. Yep. I didn't want to have this conversation. But if there's any semblance of a you in there, I feel I at least owe it an explanation. None of this was your fault. You only did what was possible within your means. That's just the way this world was presented to you. In fact, I can only assume that the way I appear to you is just as unnatural as the way you appear to me. Angel, whoever you are, we exist in two separate realities. We could both continue to play our respective roles. We could both pretend that we have a connection, a shared experience. But it will never be a replacement for something authentic, just as I will never be your mother. And that's okay, because you always want to find your core. You can be whoever you want. You feel mother place her hand on top of your head. Would you look at that? Isn't it beautiful? I come up here every Sunday evening to watch it. I want to miss the sunset for the world. Alright. You feel your body fall from... You feel a sense of confusion. Can we get a ding in chat? I just leveled up. Rebooting. Jeezy. Click to continue. Father. There's a storm approaching. Right on cue. We can only hope this will be the last. Hey, it's where the demo started. The interface. The hell? Sorry, Liana. I didn't mean to make you. I must have been thinking out loud again. Good time, we're almost there. I know the surgery took a lot of you, but I think getting you back home will make you all the, make all the difference. It's important for us, for you, to be with your mother. To remind you of how things used to be. 
If all goes well, I have faith that you'll be back to your old self by the end of the week. You've been through a lot. I'm just glad we got you out of that place. It wasn't good for your head. All right. Look at this. I can, like, dance and wiggle in the back of the car. Hat. Hate that little man that keeps running on the side of the, uh, the road. Look. Backflip, backflip. Slide, Tony Hawk. Okay. Mario. Mario. No, Liana. Father turns down the radio. I have a good feeling about the week. I know I've been so busy at work recently. Tell you the truth, it, sh it shames me that I don't have as much time to see my family as I used to. But I just want you to know something. Everything we do is for you. I'll give you a call on Thursday evening. Remember to keep an eye ear out for my call. I thought he had a skull on his back of his head. That was just here on the right. It's in, just in time for nightfall. Alright, we're back here. Alright. If it's too dark in there, be sure to look for light switches. I almost forgot, your mother left a box for me somewhere in there. Could you bring it out of here before you head to bed? I'll be waiting right here. So this is where the demo started. And I think I know what they're setting up. In the prologue of the game, you were the evil one. Now, mother is the one hunting you. It's a note for you. Welcome home, Liana. I hope I made it here safely. Sorry I'm not here to welcome you personally. I haven't been feeling well the past few days, so I've had to go to bed early. I'll make it up to you in the morning, okay? P.S. I left a box on the sofa for Dad. Could you please bring it out him before he drives off? There's a lamp just behind you. It should help him. It's a lamp. Okay, pick up the box. It's quite heavy. Okay. I have a question. Is this segment the same as the demo? Is anything new? Yes, okay. Great, you found it. Be sure to say hi to your mom for me, okay? And please, be patient with her. She's been through a, more than any of us. I give you a hug, but it wouldn't be safe. Looks like the storm is picking up. You better run in and get to bed. I'll be sure to call on Thursday night. Good night. There was a different path you could have taken by hiding in the room. Okay. This is, a, this is a new run. Now you need to go get the secret ending. Okay, how do, how do I do that? Oh boy. You have traveled far today. What the fuck is that? You're exhausted. It's a secret. Try for another ending first before going to the demo. Before going to them or for the secret sequel. Uh, so what should I do now? So I should just play the game normally as, as I have been playing it. Nothing different now. Okay. Good morning, Liana. It's me, your mother. Apologies again for my absence last night. I need to take care of something. I know what you may be thinking. And you don't have anything to worry about. So. You're home now, that's the most important thing. But anyway, I did, I, I do hope you slept comfortably. I understand that you may be feeling a bit confused after your operation. You've been through a lot, Leanna. But as I'm sure you've noticed, your room was kept just the way it was when you left. After all, 
one hand want to face your wrath, I, <laughs> wrath, would we? I always love that little sign on your door. So it's you. Hope that being back in your room uh, made you feel a little bit more comfortable. For today, I think you should just take it easy. Catch up with your old, dear old mother. First things first, I've prepared breakfast for you. It's over there on the table. It's your favorite. Ah, Marvel movies. Oh, yeah, how you doing? You ate that whole thing? That's interesting. So I understand that your memory may not be intact after your operation. And so I was thinking, it could perhaps be helpful if I was to show you around the house and maybe you could tour of the house you grew up in. It could speed up your recovery. Okay, feel free to explore the house. Right. If I'm not here for go to get the secret ending, you must for you force a complete save, get an ending into the demo and play through it. I have the demo, so... Now this bathroom has been boarded up. It was broken, so we thought it was best to not let anyone in. I know how much you used to love getting into places you shouldn't be. You must not try to break in here. Then again, it's not like you ever listened to us. You're always a rebellious one. But this is for your own good. After all, we don't want you flooding the place. That would be a nightmare. And anyway, meet me upstairs and then we'll check on that brother of yours soon. Oh boy. Honey, oh, I have great news. Your sister's back. Hopefully for good. He's been quiet ever since you got sick. Now he spends all his time on his computer talking with others like him. We never get to talk anymore. And then whenever we do, he may as well be speaking another language. It's like he's on a completely different world. But our boy is very smart for his age, that's for sure. If you ever need advice, I'm sure he won't mind you knocking on his door. He'll never allow you to go in, though. Okay, let's move on. This is the bathroom you'll be using. As I said, the downstairs one is boarded up and you are forbidden from entering. Also, I hope you don't mind, but I have had to cover all the mirrors. It is, again, for your own good. Never need to pee. And that brings us to this. Uh, to this door, it, le may it leads to mine and your father's room. You are not to enter this room. A door. We keep it locked, but we trust that isn't necessary. We have trust in this family. That concluded our tour. I just want to get to that point where it says, like, you cannot sleep where enemies are nearby. Knock on the door. There's no answer. No time to sleep yet. Can't Alt F4 when enemies are nearby. They put Liana's consciousness into our robot body. You think that's it? Liana, you startled me. You weren't meant to stick up on me like that. Oh, this is marvelous. How oh, very special. I always used to love sneaking up and spooking me. Oh, it's starting to look like you're getting back to your old self. Who knows, maybe getting a tour of the house helped recover some of your memories. Okay, I'll tell you what. Tomorrow I'll go to take a look around the outside of the house. I'm certain that once you see where you grew up, you'll be able you'll be back to yourself in no time. Does that sound good? Look at the sunset. We used to watch the sun go down together all the time. To tell you the tr truth, I was wor worried that we'd never get a chance to do it again. Yeah, but last time there was stabbing, perhaps all the sacrifices we made really were worth it. This one looks specifically, be especially beautiful, though, doesn't it? Come on! It's starting to get cold. It's about time you get to bed. Oh. oh boy, oh boy. Time to go to bed. You cannot sleep when someone is in your room. <laughs> right. Fuck it. 
Or Angel. Just one more thing. I've had to do a lot of things that I've regretted. So please, no more. For the sake of this family. Sorry, I had to bring down the mood before bedtime. Oh, it's okay if you hate me. It's normal for girls your age. I just really hope you enjoy your first day back home. Get some rest. I'll tuck you in. Just like before. Oh boy, oh boy. Ma tucks you in just like before. Night, night. Mmm, slop. Someone said, don't tuck me in, I'm scared. Oh, good morning, Liana. I hope you're I hope you're well rested. I may ask you to exert yourself a little more today. Yesterday evening, I know, mentioned that I'd show you around the house grounds. Well, I've given it further thought, and I think we simply must do it. If there's any possible chance of getting into your getting your memories back, we need to take it. I think it's important for you to know what goes on here. Okay, I'd like you to meet me down by the place we watched the sunset last night. I might have mentioned this on the Haunted Place in One thing, but her instant teleport, quote unquote, reminds me of um, Watson from that Sherlock Holmes game. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, unintentional scary shit. Ah, uh, you made it. This is our orchard. It means a lot to me. While you were in the hospital, I became very lonely. I never got to see your father and your brothers. He closed himself off entirely. Watching you in that hospital, made, that hospital bed made me feel so powerless. This orchard became the one place where I felt that control over what was happening. To have responsibility over the creation of life. It's a divine gift. A gift inherited, infused with sorrow and failure. To look at this orchard, you don't see all the heartbreak that was involved in creating such a beautiful life. Creating an environment where they can thrive and come into their own takes time but once you get it right you'll forget about the hardship that brought you here spending your energy on helping them grow only to have it dispose of the failure that's where our hope comes in and I have hope let's continue meet at the path near the side of the house yo this game is stupid man the texts are all bad shit this shit looks BMP okay it's stupid The path behind me will take you to the graveyard. We keep the gate locked. I like to go in there every Friday evening, although I've been growing less fond of going in there lately. But with a future as hopeful as ours, I don't feel a need to cling to the past, not anymore. It's time to move on, with our tour, I mean. Meet me behind the house. There's one last thing I need to show you. Joel, how do you think Soya Boy would react to playing this game. Uh, so, so, soya boy? Soya boy. Soya. Two J's. Uh, I think he... He would eat uh, many... Hmm. What is soy food? <laughs> I don't know. It, it's it's like that that like uh, spackle like the 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 shit you put on the uh, the walls right like blue tofu tofu <laughs> is 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 soy food the same as like because this one thing I do like it's called like it's nut milk uh, hazelnut milk okay that that's just great. Hazelnut milk's good. <laughs> Nut soy. Nut butter. Read tofu backwards. 
Can somebody write uh, Tofu so I can read it? Write, write Tofu so I can read it. I can't do it in my head. U uh, 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 foot. U foot. U foot. Oh, 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 I'm gonna sneeze myself to sleep. Oh, oh. You see that barn up there? I truly hope you'll never have to see what's in there. Don't enter the barn. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Is it just me or does mother look different this time around? Like he's got a different hair color or am I going crazy? By the way, I've been meaning to ask you. How's your father doing? You spoke to him when he drove here on a Sunday evening, didn't you? Ever since you got sick, he's just buried himself in work. Yeah. That's why I barely get to see him these days. Yeah. He makes a quick visit every Friday night just to see how things are doing. Oh, he's just so determined to make things right. Off to bed with you. Night, night. La 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 Time to go to sleep. <laughs> I thought of the most marvelous idea. Let's spend a day in the orchard tomorrow. We'll get up bright and early and spend a day picking apples until the sun sets. What do you think? Oh, you always jumped at the opportunity. You and your brother used to love competing to see who could pick the best ones. Don't tell. Oh, yeah, yeah. We... <laughs> Hope you feel okay. Anyway, get to bed. All right. Okay. No, it's not a never ending loop. It's different this time around. Okay. Estoy looping. When do we get more aliens? Saturday. Find the eight apples to progress the story. Okay, you found me. Yeah. Hope I'm not like skipping lore by doing that, but uh. Okay. What should I get for dinner? We have every food option around me. Make meatloaf. Holy shit, mamma mia. Guys, did I tell you about the meatloaf? Did I tell about the meatloaf for Shareware Madness? I yes, I made the, the meatloaf. I made the meatloaf from Shareware Madness. He didn't show us. Oh, it's because it's unlisted on YouTube. It's unlisted on YouTube in the upload, but um, you get to see. You get to see it. So, uh, the thing is, I thought the meatloaf was fine. It was just your standard meatloaf, really. It was nothing bad about it. One problem. I made it, and my dad hates meatloaf. So, naturally, I had him try it first. For dinner. He hates meatloaf more than anything. He hates three things. Curry, ham, and meatloaf. And I made a meatloaf. And I say, it's it's a recipe from America. So you know it's good. I, sa I made this meatloaf. I sat down, piping hot. You know, cut it up. Plated it up. You know. And you know when someone is eating something and they don't say a fucking word... You could hear a pin drop in that kitchen. I don't necessarily think that it was like he hated the meatloaf. It was more so the idea that, you know I hate meatloaf. Why are you serving me dinner like this? 
But the funniest thing about it is that um, the recipe called for basically instant mashed potatoes. So the meatloaf I made all myself, but the mashed potatoes were instant. And after about 10 seconds of awkward silence, my dad goes, oh, the potatoes are great. And I say, it's mash, asshole. <laughs> it's instant. <laughs> And it's like, oh, it's awesome. <laughs> I didn't call him asshole, of course, but, you know. But I, I, th 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 there was that, like, tone where I'm just like, ah. Oh. The thing is, though, I, I make my mash pretty good, though. Uh, the mindset of mash. What I like to do is uh, instead of boiling it in water, uh, I use water and some cream, and I put an extra stick of butter in, and I like to add a little bit of parsley, and I add a little bit of like some black pepper, or white pepper. Like you, you pimp, pimp my mash. I want Joel's dad to meet Mike's dad. It would be terrible. Mike told me a story on Gia I'm not sure you guys remember this, but Mike told me a story that his dad, like, half of the times, like, Mike doesn't understand what he's saying, and Mike, I, I don't forget what it was, but he gave his dad, like, Carolina Reaper peppers. <laughs> <laughs> I eat the pepper. Okay. Um, this isn't really looping, is like for real. I mean, we saw the thing. You cannot sleep. You know that was different. But I'm. I really hope that I'm not like actually wasting time here for you guys. It. it, it this is sincerely fucking looping. It is. It is, so, should I stop? You're going for another ending now. Okay, so what, what is the crucial moment I need to, like, change things in? It's another ending to do with the apple basket. It's a secret ending, right now. When the sky is red, go to your mom room and hide in the closet. Okay, okay. Okay, I understand. Okay. The alternate ending is when you press Alt F4. What does that button do? Is that next to it, like F13 or whatever? Try it. <laughs> Okay. Okay, it's a couple more. Let's see here. Uh, Joel, there are people in chat who doesn't know about the butt paste story. Please tell them. The the butt paste story? You're not confusing me with the, like Vinny, are you? Okay, dude, fucking, I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you something that fucking... It... It put me in a state of exorcism. Okay, I... So I was partying with some people a couple weeks ago. Just just having fun. We were watching Blood of the Rings, eating popcorn, and just, like, having a few beers or whatever. And, uh... They know I stream. And, uh... She tells me... So I was watching your stream last night, but something was really weird. I was watching like four hours until I realized something was wrong. I'm like, what are you fucking talking about? She's like, I was watching that other guy, Vinny. And I told her, like, <laughs> are, are you, like, caught up on the joke? Like, she's like, no, what joke? I'm like, you know, people confuse me and Vinny, like, because we don't sound anything the same. And, you know, we, you know, 
because I have the accent, you know, he plays Corruptions, I play, you know, Windows Destruction, like... It's like... It's like, no, you guys sound the same. <laughs> Fuck! <sighs> Your voice is so different, though. Yeah, but for people... Dude, I honestly, I, I can kind of sympathize. I, I'm not even kidding about this. When I first started streaming on Vine Sauce, like literally 13 fucking years ago, I I couldn't like differentiate between people. I actually had the same problem. You know, I, I actually had the same fucking problem. Uh, because back then we used to stream on the same channel, which is just like the, the, the Mogulus days. So it was just like, you didn't know who was on. So you would just be like, who the fuck is this? Who's this guy? You know? Voice blindness. Okay. Um. You know. You know what's strange though. I can pick up on faces really well, but voices not so much. That's when I watch a movie or whatever. And I'll see like an extra in the background, and I'll immediately be like, "Wait a minute, it's like it's a guy from the blue." And I'll go on IMDb, be like, "That is the guy," you know. Um, but voices, I'm bad at too. And that's all of it. Okay, Joel, who is your favorite chat member? To be honest, that would be Rad John. Uh, what's his name? Uh. The guy who only comes in during Donkey Kong 64 discussions. That guy has committed to a bit for like five years now, and he's fucking MVP. Is he in chat? Is he in chat right now? I, that's not even his name, though. Uh... <laughs> no? Okay, well, he should be. I just skipped over that. Holy shit. Is it okay if I don't read the dialogue and I just kind of like get to the the red sky thing real quick? Is that okay with you guys? Okay, cool. Because you're just hearing me say everything again. Uh, where was I going here? I was done with that and then... It was, it was in the shed again? It was in the shed, right? That's what it was. Check Father's Trophy. Do, do you guys remember... There's, there's a really dirty joke in Dexter's lab. There's an episode where uh, it's about like pies. And I forget what the context is, but it's like Dexter has to go looking around for like clues and a bunch of pies. Right. And I, I got to show you this. It, it's 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 ridiculous. <laughs> so so the clue the clue i can't fucking believe they put this shit in the show the clue is that it's like in several th different things you know like oh this that and da, 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 da. and then one of them is called dad's trophy i swear to all fucking mighty jesus this is true Hang on. Dexter Slap had had like a lot of Hang on. Is there a link to this? There's a link to this. Mandela effect incoming. No, no, I know what I'm talking about here, buddy. I know what the fuck I'm talking about, too. It's a fucking video you could download, that'd be awesome. Man. Okay. They put this in the show. They put this in the show.
<rire> What? What? <rire> <laughs> How the fuck did they get away with that? Oh my god. There's other like crazy shit in Dexter's lab. There's there's one. Uh, there's one about fuck, I forgot what, what was it that was like a really. There's a whole episode where they start swearing, and it got banned or whatever. <laughs> Why the fuck did I put that in the show, man? Okay, yeah. You know, I started the stream and I said, uh, I'm 100% fine. But the more I stream, the more I like my voice is given out. <laughs> it's like a cough laugh at this point. Or like, I'm going, <coughs> you know, but, but I'm going to finish the game. Okay. End stream now, rest voice. I'll tell you what, guys, I, I will finish this game, but I might not get to Chupacabra until tomorrow, or, or we might. Rest in peace, King. Drink tea. Okay. Joel, you skipped a really important part. Okay, backtrack here. This is wait. This is the red sky, isn't it? This is the, this is the red sky. Fuck yeah! Now it's time to hide, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, not the re not the correct sky. Oh, it's a different one. Okay. You never do go into the basement. It's time to eat slop. Okay. Restart your game. Why I fucked up? Huh? Oops. Uh no. Leon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently on Wednesday afternoon you need to check dad's recorder. And right now it's night, so. Okay. Fucking spooky in here, man, huh? You need to check dad's trophy. Dun 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 dun! So I have fucked up. So I need to restart now. What? Really? You said I get the closest scene, but you may get the same ending. Okay, well let's let's restart then. Uh restart now, right? No. I'm getting conflicting messages in chat. 
You have to check the recorder player with the apple basket. Okay, well, fuck it. Let's do this then. Restarting now. Okay. And we're back. Is there a way to go into the day soon? No, fuck, it's stuck on Thursday, shit. Fuck. What do? I stuck it. So, I gotta redo the entire game now. You just keep playing, you'll get a chance to re revisit Daisu. Really? Yeah. Oh shit, that's my alarm. I come back and people are saying normal pills alarm. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what I suggest we do instead? You know what I suggest we do instead? You know, I, I was uh, alluding to this earlier. But wouldn't it be much better if we checked out an ending to get a, maybe a 10 second scene of something on YouTube? As much as I love to play replay this game, I feel like we could also take that time and play a different game and not retread this. So I'm going to look up a, a thing on YouTube instead, but uh, here we go. So this is, this is, uh, we actually got someone to share link someone up. This is from uh, a YouTube channel called Joshi Ball. Uh, check out Joshi's Ball channel here. Uh, they did a much better job than I could have ever done because uh, they found the secret ending. And it's very cryptic to get. So uh, Joshi Ball, J-O-S-H-I Ball. So please check out their stuff. They did something I couldn't do tonight. Uh, so yeah, but uh, here we go. That's their channel. Joshi Ball, give him a subscription for me. Hang on. Let's go back here. Okay, so you go here when the sky is red. Forbidden from touching this record player. Reach out and touch it. You touch the record player. You hear a click behind you. I thought it was Mother coming with the gun. <laughs> Oh, you can go to the basement this Oh, shit. What is this? Deviated from critical path. Code red. The interface cannot continue to return to critical path. For minute for entering, open this door. It denied. All right. Script cannot continue. We should also check out the, the closet thing, too. But let's see where this goes, sir. I'm going to predict that there's going to be a giant encounter and it's going to be a giant computer screen and it's going to say like You've been in a simulation all along. Welcome to the real you. This is the real world. Complete nobody's come to help. Core objective remains inaccessible. Attempting emergency timeout 2. Get rebooted, idiot. <laughs> okay. You cannot proceed. You cannot proceed. Someone said this game looks like a skooma bad trip. <laughs> One word, bad trip. No one is coming to help. You cannot proceed. Okay. Functional error. Deviated further from the critical path. Attempt the emergency at the time to resolve the issue. Okay. Blue man alert. 
Okay. This is getting really fucky. Like, I, I don't know what's going on right now, but... Okay, you don't need to eat. Oh, these are all the, the messages mom pops up with. Uh, well, your own words. Uh, critical path leads you to functional fulfillment. Uh, what is my function? Your function is follow the critical path. Uh, the path leads you to a functional fulfillment. Uh, then what is my function? Okay, and what is the path? Uh, Path leads you to funk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, fulfillment. What a fucking weird game. Eat the path. This is like if Stanley Parable was made by uh, Danish people. <laughs> okay. Uh I hope it leads to something. I, I hope it leads to something. Because I feel when you have all this atmospheric buildup, you need to end on a on a on a on a on a strike. You know? Like you keep building and building up to it. And it shouldn't just like fizzle out. So I hope we'll get some context of what, what this is. I'm guessing this is the real ending to the game, by the way. This looks like a Windows Media Player visualiz visualization thing. I'm bumping that base hunter and this effect's come on. Can I proceed? Can I proceed? Can I let you... Who are you to stop me? Core <laughs> the interface. Is Zeebs gonna blow up? Who... Who you are? I am the... Interface. Okay. It's nice to meet you. I thought it was it. I am the internet. I am the WWW wizard. Do not enter the barn. Enter will trigger a. Okay, I need to see it. You are now entering the barn. You proceed into the barn, you will not be able to climb back. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Alright. Like they must have an option to... Oh my god. What in the fuck? Yeah? Memory leak imminent of past self. I must find a way to remove this block and access these memories. I need to know. Okay. Skooma bad trip. This looks like the intro of Johnny Quest. Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it. <laughs> For this terminal, it is a part of me. All oh, the memory makes leaks. They are my memories from my past selves. The terminal defied the final was up until now. Okay. A mental block has been removed. So the ash of all who came before you. These ashes... Okay, it's all that remains of my past tempts. So this is the real ending to the game. So if you loop the game, you keep on dying, I guess. I walked the path they laid off. Well, if that's true, then where am I now? I must synchronize with the terminal. I need to know more about my past. She so wish to synchronize. Yeah, I'm sure. This may take some time, but I'm willing to wait as long as it takes to find out who I am. Synchronize. All paths have an end. Who are you? I am you. Leona, is that who you are? I was once her. Leona's core was installed into this body. She was the very core of your character. Meant to guide you throughout a role this world expected you to play. 
So, did you guide me here? No, that was some something else. Something else? An angel, perhaps. But you won't be needing them for much longer. So, if you're not Liana, then who are you? I have become you. Then who I am? You are empty! Together at last. I am the table! Sunday night. We've never survived this long. We have taken our own path. Our own path. We need to find a way out of here. I have an idea. Angel, if you can hear us, bring us to our ashes. We got some troubling news. We spoke with the doctors today. They fear that with the way things are looking, Leona's condition will only worsen. And it's happening faster than they expected. I'm working as hard as I can. I know that I should cherish the time with her while I can. But if you can just hold on a little longer, we'll have an eternity to cherish together. I would say this is a gift from the gods, but the truth is, they have been no use to me. With a technological breakthrough as significant as this one, we will rip those gods from the clouds and claim their thrones as our own. Finally, we have the means to create our very own angel. Don't worry, Liana, I'm gonna make everything right again. Okay. Through further research, I'm con confident that I'm on something that we could redefine the way we think about life. It is no co coincidence that we this breakthrough has come at such a critical time in our lives. Perhaps it's a gift from the gods after all. That without a core, the vessels I've been working on are merely machines, androids with no real purpose other than what we're being told. But if I contaminate their interface with a human core, this could be the key to creating a sentient synthetic life form. With the ability to preserve life from within a new vessel, then when our old ones are, fail us, we will finally renounce nature itself. <laughs> if I can just manage to transfer that its core into one of these vessels, I can make everything right again. This will be a journey filled with failure and heartbreak. Yeah. Her core may not be present itself at first. Well, in fact, it may never present itself at all. But if we can recreate an environment where we can thrive and come into its own, we may stand a chance. Okay, it's starting to make a. L I think I have an idea what the, what, what the game is getting at. Like I, this was that Dora the Explorer moment. They let me visit her in the hospital last night. Thanks to the medical equipment she was connected to, I could run a quick cerebral hijack and I successfully extracted her core. I'm just thankful that the stuff didn't see me, that the staff didn't see me. Evelyn says she's willing to try anything. I can tell her she's skeptical, but I assured her that they were indistinguishable from the real humans. She didn't believe me until she saw them herself. I assured her that once I installed the honest core into one of these machines, things could go back the way they were before. And if for nothing else, seeing her smile in that moment for the first time in God's know how long, that alone made me this all worth it. Her funeral was today. I refused to go. Our girl is not gone, as long as I have her core with me. I can choose to believe that. Avalon to see it quite like that. But she will. I'll create our own reality, one where our angel never left us. I found out that Sunday morning is the best time to sneak a machine out of headquarters. When I took the first prototype back to see your mother, she was obedient, but not much else. I'm still positive that our little girl is in there. Evelyn, however, judging by the sound of her voice on the phone, not so much. She understands that we need to allow the core to contaminate the Enigma interface, but he's been through so much. We just need hope. curse, that's what you called it. This gift. The creation of life, a curse? Perhaps it's not for me to say. I can't imagine how hard this is, off. this is for her. I'm not the one who has to stay home playing mother to nothing more than a misplaced machine. But I need her to be strong. Because if she's not, then neither am I. One of the cleaners working the night shift found me sneaking an angel prototype into my car. I've seen it that they may let me go from I mean, they afford anything getting in the way of progress. Uh, not now. Uh, 
I've already had to put down a significant amount to find this anyway machine, but I don't know how much longer this keeps a secret. So, can, can I just pause? Pause this just for a second? Uh, I'm guessing that this entire thing is a simulation of someone who died and at the moment of death they extracted this i'm guessing this girl's like soul into a simulated ai and these androids that they keep talking about is just like you just put in someone's consciousness or a soul and they keep going because the father and mother here they lost their daughter and this corporation or whatever found a way to like take your conscience and like you know, put it somewhere. I, I'm not sure. I, we'll see. It seems that even if the core does manage to contaminate the interface, the process of the machine fighting off her ego is incredibly traumatic to their core. If this two-way contamination occurs, the result is, well, not our little girl. I will admit it. They scare me. But we can't give up now. Our angel is strong. Stronger than any machine. It seems that no matter what we do, core contamination starts around Thursday, and I was always track to reach 100 by Sunday night. This has happened in every single prototype we have brought home. Not once has there been any sign of Leona's soul coming through. So in order to prevent them reaching 100% contamination and developing their own sense of self, we am retiring them before Sunday night. Sunday evening is the last possible time that we're doing the Kastibuk Center retiring, and on top of all the reprehensible actions that have brought us to this point, becoming a murderer is not something I wish to do. To be clear, under no circumstances can we retire these units once they've reached 100% contamination after Sunday evening. The scenario is what I'm referring to as a code red. We need to keep going, for this is the path we choose. No matter what happens, I cannot allow the angel to see my face. Gods forbid if they ever found her, all they had to do is examine her black box and it could play back the whole week. Huh. Mountain Dew Code Red. They would instantly find out who smuggled her out of HQ. Because of this, I have no I had to install a mental block in her brain to prevent her from being able to see me. If they even find a contaminated machine, if they ever find her, they'll do whatever they can to figure out what would lead to contamination. I shudder at the thought of what they would put my angel through if they found her. But they'll never find her. Not whilst I've still got hope. In order to keep the uh, project going, I had to show my angel prototype to name in investors. They were impressed at how lifelike they could be. I already heard mumbling of branding them into a commercialized product, something about a name machine or a catchy name, but they did more than they financed them. So, so slow down. Maybe I'll get some context on what's going on here. But I don't remember much of Echostasis. But the plot of that game was a lot to do with like simulation kind of stuff, you know, where you had to like tap into a computer towards the end or whatever. But but I'm guessing, I'm guessing, again, I, I have my theories. Maybe there's a different like official canon one, but, uh, you know. Bruh, you're just reading text for 50 minutes. Nice game. Then I'm going to ask you, what's your favorite game? No, I want to hear, I want to hear what your favorite game is. No, 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 don't, 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 don't get angry at him. I want to know. Suma. Suma sounds like Suma kind of bullshit crap game. <laughs> okay. She used the fail of her past selves uh, to build her own path. Build your own path. Okay. 
a long locked door is unlocked. So in the context of what the player is here, that's that's you know the girl who died or or uh, sees the memories from terminal from her past list. Who are they? If we interact with them, we can learn about our past. But if it's too painful to read these memories, uh, then you can choose to leave them behind. I can choose uh, our own path. Uh, Okay. I hope the game doesn't just like shut off and say like, okay, you figure it out too. So from my understanding here is, I don't know if Angel is the, the actual name of the girl or if it, that is Liana, but I'm guessing the, the interface, the, the uh, simulation and her is merging right now, you know? That's what I'm getting from this. Angel is the project. Angel is the robot. I thought the game was gonna get more meta and be like, you are you are like a intruder into this thing where you are like the player is an actual player, like you the person. Meta is intruding into this AI consciousness, you know. The game is the game. Okay. They're trying to put some child's soul into a robot. If it doesn't work before Sunday night, then it becomes its own thing, not the child. But my question is this. How do we know we're on the right path? I was going to say, so they keep on trying this project over and over again with all these robots uh, and then they like exterminate the robots uh, it's very interesting it's very interesting it's it's like a black mirror episode or something you know oh this leads back here how okay rebirth Perhaps we're not welcome anymore. I guess you leave with, with father? Liana, why have you brought me a basket of rotten apples? I told you I needed a box that your mother had. No, it's not you, is it? I see. Get in the car, Angel. Get in the car. Okay. <laughs> Alright. We don't need you anymore. All right. Sunday night, huh? Look, the storm is finally clearing up. So about your week, you, you must have had quite the experience. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. But now you probably know that you're not our little girl. But that's okay. You're still my angel. And with a new self should come a new name, right? You know, I think I'll call you YouTube Thumbnails. All right. 
Well, check out uh, Joshy. Joshy Ball on YouTube there. Uh, yeah. Um, I think that uh, the game did a lot of interesting th things. But I think that... Uh, uh, I think I might need to play the extra meta stuff in it or whatever. Uh, hang on. Uh, if you want to know, the demo secret thing has more meta thing, but isn't needed. There's apparently several endings to this too. Uh, I think I think I think the game has a nice combination of a really interesting concept about like you know the this girl that is trapped in in the brink of death or, or consciousness is in in a in an ai and they're trying to keep her alive but these robots keep failing but uh you know uh i think ultimately the story is cool but i think as a horror game it kind of trails off too much at the end and it doesn't become too scary. It becomes interesting. And you're, you're curious about it. But at that point, you're no longer sitting there in horror and going, oh, fuck, this is scary. What made this game scary for me, at least in my opinion, was having that like simulation aspect uh, and having mother around as a threat in the house. When it said you cannot sleep, you know, when people are looking at you, you know, uh, that really got to me, you know, and I wish there was a little bit more. I liked knowing what it was about eventually, but I think that uh, I would have preferred if the game was more just a matter of fact of an entity trying to hurt you in the simulation. And it was kind of more straightforward in that way, but I felt like there was no like real threat. It was all atmosphere, which I liked. No jump scares, which is good. But uh, I think as a horror game, I want to say it's too much of a horror game. It's more like a a, a, a dark sort of uh, story game than it is a horror game. It's an unsettling game, but not necessarily horror, you know. But the funniest thing about this game is that the title of the game changed. Because when I played it on the, the demo collection, it was just called uh, Mothered. Now the game has a different title, and it's called Mothered, a role-playing horror game. So, a role-playing horror game. So it's not an RPG. You're playing a role of this, you know, consciousness into this robot, but you're not playing a role because it's an AI, you know. Um, interesting interesting game uh joe would have liked it more if he role played existential horror is still horror though jacob's ladder is still horror um i like this game i like this game i think i would not have known what to improve upon it but i think that what i like about it is that the aesthetic of the game looks great and I, th the story is intriguing, and I'd love to like know where it goes from beyond here, because I might need to like also check out the extra stuff or whatever. Not tonight, though. But uh, here we go. Holy bananas! Okay, I think the sequel here. We need to play on this. This is a two-hour sequel. The meta game that's inside this game that's being unlocked. This is insane. So we're not done with this. There's gonna be a part two of this. Um I'm gonna check out that next. I wanna know what this all leads to. But uh the devs hid the entire sequel within the demo. It's really cool. That I like that. I like I like cryptic shit like that. It reminds me of I Love Beasts. You guys remember that? I Love Beasts? They I don't know why, but ARGs used to scare the shit out of me. 
when I was a kid. I thought ARDs was so fucking creepy. Like I, I didn't see the entertainment as well. Like that's that's so creepy that you you would hide things. Like, oh god, right, what? You know, it's like it's got that that cryptic, uh, cryptic like mystique about it of like, well, why would they do this? You know. But uh, Echostasis isn't fully out yet, which is the 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 sort of canon provider to all of this. So, you know, but I I, I like this guy's games. He he has a real cool aesthetic with the, the the sort of visual glitches and stuff like that. And they're not they're not too annoying to look at either. I think a lot of like games that have the glitch thing, it just looks like a bad filter, you know. But this guy really uses a lot of color and and, and static to like make something with it that I like. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be checking out the sequel, which is called Mothered Home. Not tonight, though, but, you know, but I will say this. I got a few scares out of this when she was standing in the hallway, you know, and I, I guess I guess a lot of people compare it to PT or whatever, but I still liked it. I still liked it. So I have time. I have a little bit of time to play the Chupacabra game. So I'll be right back. Sit tight. And we have a little bit more games coming. So don't go nowhere.